family welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is selena zenchak in today's video i'm going to be showing you exactly how i moisturize my hair after my wash day after i'm done with my pre poo treatment my shampoo and my deep condition treatment this is the same method that i use to keep my hair moisturized in between wash days now i'm using all ingredients that i created and these are ingredients that you don't wash out you leave it on your hair coming from my leave-in treatment my oils and my butters i already made these videos and it's on my channel but some of you guys were asking how to use it to you wash it out to you leave it in so these are the ingredients i'm going to be demonstrating for you to see they are not meant to be washed out except if you want to use it as a treatment with all of these powerful ingredients in it that would just be wasting these treatments so the first thing i'm going to be sh showing you guys is my dht blocker tea i already showed you how to make this tea and then i have that video on my channel i will leave it down in the description box for you and yes i'm getting very good at leaving videos down in the description box for you guys in a video i talk about in the video i now take my time and go and leave it down in the description box for you so if you want to see how i made this amazing dht blocker tea I will leave it down for you now this tea is very important if you are suffering from hair loss if you are trying to reverse your alopecia if you have having bald spot thinning in your crown area this is something that you should give a try along with a powerful growth oil in that video i recommended that you use it with my s secrets growth oil and my caffeine growth oil but if you have your own oil that you believe in and you trust in you can also use it learn how to make it for yourself and use it now the next thing i will be using is my s secrets growth oil now this is the only growth oil that i use on sonia here i haven't taken the time to really explain how to use this growth oil because i got many questions from you guys also from my website so i plan on making a dedicated video but if you are familiar with my channel you have seen how I use it. I use it as a leave-in treatment. It can be used as a pre poo treatment, a hot oil treatment. It can also be used if you just want to just stimulate that growth on your hair and leave it on for some hours and then after you wash it out. Now, I started using this oil on my daughter when she was about five months, six months. So it can also be used on kids. So. It can be used on male and female children is safe enough to use on everyone and all hair types even if you go on the website you will see exactly how to use it according to your hair type for type 3 and type 4 you can leave it in because our curls are heavy now if you have type 1 or type 2 here it will weigh your hair down so i would recommend that you use it in a hot oil treatment or a pre pre treatment and wash it out this is how i'm going to be demonstrating it on my husband hair as well because he's caucasian and he started using it <laughs> also a lot and he love it so that's it oops now the next thing i will be using is my magnesium butter you can use this butter as a deep condition and also as a leave-in treatment now for me i love to use it as a leave-in butter because i already have a lot of deep condition treatment on my channel and i prefer to use those as deep condition treatment and use this as my butter my leave-in butter and then i even have an extra one because i recently made more because i use this on sonia's hair i use it on my hair and also aurora hair now the next thing i have is my grease mixture i also have a video on how i mix this grease now i know many people have problem with using grease on your hair and your scalp i use grease as a sealant to help to seal all of those moisture in 
I don't use it on my scalp. When I was a kid, my mother and grandmother used to use grease on our scalp and our hair. But I want to use it on my hair to help keep the moisture in. And being that I work from home, I always in the AC, so my hair also gets dried very fast. So I just love to use all of these ingredients so that I don't have to be touching my hair a lot. And yes, even though I make a lot of YouTube videos because this is like my work now, but real life behind the scene, I really don't play in my hair like that. The way in which I make my video, I film every step of the way. So if it's like a wash day for me, I'm able to get five or four videos from just that one wash day. And then that's it. I don't have to touch my hair again, except I want to go in and re-moisturize my hair. Now I cut this leaf in treatment this is something that i picked up this is a store-bought product which i don't normally use but since i have it on hand i decided to use it so the step in which i will be using this is first spray some of my dht blocker on my hair and my scalp and massage it in properly and then i will go in with the leave in treatment and then i will also apply some of my s secrets group or to my scalp, massage it in for blood circulation and hair growth. And then I will mix my grease mixture and my butter together and apply it on my hair. And then I will seal all of that in with my S Secrets Group Oil. Now, the way you choose to moisturize your hair is fine. You don't have to go in the same order that I do. Sometimes even I would do a section differently. I would do another section differently just for me to see which method work best for me when it comes to our hair we all just need to study our hair and learn our hair because you see my hair on camera you cannot touch it it could look same as yours but in real life it's a little bit different so just do what work best for you so i'm going to show you guys exactly how i will be using all of these ingredients to moisturize my hair so I'm first just going to start spraying the treatment on my hair and my skin. So I'm going to apply the treatment in smaller sections on my skin. So this whole section already feel very, very moisturized with the treatment. This is the last bottle of treatment I have left, so I hope it's able to cover my entire hair. Now that I got all the treatment on, I'm just going to apply some of the oil on my skin. And also massage that in. Our hair is always dry. You just need a find a way or create a moisturizing routine for your hair to keep it moisturized because even if you moisturize your hair today the type of hair that we have after a few days it's going to feel as if to say you haven't done anything to it at all i'm not just going to go in with a little bit of the leave-in treatment And if I'm keeping my hair in braids or twists, I also prefer to keep it in big sections because if it's in big sections, it's easy to take down and re-moisturize your hair if it's completely dry. Most especially 
if you have very dry hair like mine that's what i love to do now that i got the leave-in treatment in i'm just going to take a bit of the magnesium butter you hear my kisses and then a bit of the grease thank you for all these kisses and then i'm just going to mix both of them together yeah my daughter always spoiling me with kisses Since I stopped. You stopped where? Yeah. And then I'm going to seal all of those moisture in with a bit of the S Secrets Growth Oil. After that, I'm just going to put this in a big twist. Because I notice when I'm doing twist, it's very easy also to just take them. If I'm doing braid, my hair still moisturizes longer than a twist. But taking it down is harder than taking down a twist. So that's why I just love to throw it in twist and since i'm on my nine months hair growth challenge it's going to be easy for me to take it down and do stuff with it so yeah this is my first big twist so i'm just going to repeat the same thing all over my hair What are you doing, Aurora? Yes. There's a hybrid in the house. That's so pretty.
sorority was my trouble area when I was going through my alopecia. So you can just apply a little bit of the S Secrets group oil around it every morning. And then you can also just spray a little bit of the treatment on your trouble area. You don't have to do your whole hair every day. Just place that you know that is thinning and it's breaking off. So this is going to last me seven days and I'm going to keep it in the fridge. I'm done moisturizing my entire hair. I got some stuff on my shirt, but that's fine. I'm going to go and change it. I have a lot to do. I'm going to just leave my hair like this until my next wash day. Sometimes when I'm less busy and I see that my hair is very dry, after three or four days, I will go back in and then just repeat the same thing, re-moisturize it and throw it in braids or twists. Now, when it comes to our type 4 hair, please do not have in mind that once you have moisturized it like this, you can leave it for months or for weeks without going back in to moisturize it. That's wrong. With this type of hair, it gets dry within one or two days. So especially if you are wearing it out now i also have some daily treatment that you can spray on your hair every day if you are wearing your hair out i will leave some of those videos down below even this treatment you can use it as a daily sprays so just make sure that you are keeping your hair moisturized if you don't want any dryness and breakage on your hair so for me being that i'm very busy i'm gonna leave my hair like this until my next wash day which is after seven days and then after i would just repeat the same thing that i do with my hair so i hope all of you guys are doing well with the challenge i hope you are keeping up with your regular washes and your deep conditioner and your pre pre treatment and you are also keeping your hair moisturized so if you love this video please do not forget to give me a like leave a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.